Hey, young moderns, and welcome to this week's installment of What? I'm Chris Strauss, and once again, I will be your host. Picture, if you will, the tropical breeze, the faint scent of ginger and pineapple lingering in the air, and as a colorful bird of paradise flies overhead and the sun sets on beautiful Jamaica Bay, you hear the familiar strains of that two-chord bop that we call ska. Tonight, it's our honor to have with us one of Minneapolis's finest ska groups, prospective recording artist Shapeshifter. With their seamless blend of fast and rugged ska grooves, complemented by one of the tightest horn sections going, respect to the man that they call Tim. <laughs> Chris, we're not a ska group. We're like that ethereal rock sort of thing. Yeah, whatever. So now let's cut the chatter and spin the platter and dig the big ska sound that is Shapeshifter. <laughs> also went to the largest ball of twine together, which was a very religious experience. In fact, uh, three of us at this table went to the largest ball of twine in Minnesota. In the world, really. Yes. Well, so they say. Someone decided that they needed to go hang out with people in a coffin in a lake. I don't know who it was, <laughs> Jason. <laughs> it was a moving religious experience. I just didn't want to pass up. Dude, look, what, look what I just did. <laughs> 
So we're talking with Shapeshifter. We're talking with you. Mm -hmm. you know? It's cool. Yes. Well, yeah. you are talking with yeah. us. I am talking with you. Not we are talking with you. You are talking with, with us. In the You're royal way. Yes, I know. Yeah. Dumb questions. The obvious questions. How long has Shapeshifter been together? Should we nominate somebody to like answer all these questions? Sure. Okay. All in favor of Terry, say aye. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. Well, it's been almost two years. Not quite, but almost two years. Three of us have been together for probably three, um, three years or longer because we had a we had a group before this kind of that never played out. Mm -hmm. Royal, what was the name of it? Royal, have some Royal Jelly. Royal yeah, Jelly. Royal Jelly. Uh, so you guys, are, okay. so you've been around for about two years. Mm -hmm. um, now you played a lot. You played everywhere. You've been on everything. You've been kind of huge. Have you been surprised by that? No. Huge. <laughs> huge. <laughs> no, and my ego is exploding just as we huge. talk now. Huge. Yeah. yeah. It's. We're not huge. You're thinking of the other shapeshifter, I mean. Yeah. That other shapeshifter. Mm -hmm. Well, not huge, but you've got new. Uh, you got to play in the main room. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And you've gotten a. Have you headlined in the entry yet? Oh, no. no. Oh hell! The, why do we have you on the show then? <laughs> <laughs> you paid you enough money. But you've headlined a lot of places. Yes. Mm -hmm. You have gone around. You you played in other parts of the country even. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have a record out. Yes. You want to tell us about the record? <clears throat> oh Paul, will you? It's vinyl. It's black. It's got a sleeve. It's really cool. And uh, it did get airplay on one radio station. So. Actually, I guess it's it's been okay. on a couple of radio stations very <clears throat> lightly. The A side is Plectrum, and that's um kind of a kind of a poppy thing. And then the other side is a little more gloomy and a little a little mellower. And um, it's it sounds good on on your record player <laughs> sometimes. It's it okay. <laughs> it sounds it's, better. It's all right. It's okay. Uh, who writes the words? That'd be I. Me. Word guy. Word guy. Now, uh, with Plectrum, what's one of the things that you're talking about? I'm talking about your basic death and destruction and dismemberment and... Mm -hmm. and uh, Guitar picks! Uh, <laughs>
much bologna have you eaten in one sitting? Well, one time I ate it. You know, uh, you boys might want to clear out of here. I, I've seen some stuff. Who's that? That's Bob, the reclusive janitor. Gives me the creeps. <laughs> He told me you guys were a ska group. Well, somehow the bios got mixed up. Yeah. 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 That ha stuff like that happens. Yeah. Well, yeah, that, that explains, it's, you know, on that, you know, next Boston show, you know, yeah. calling them ethereal dream pop boy was that a big mistake. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. We, we actually almost got a show opening up for the Boston's on account of that. I'm just going to pick on you the entire time, shall I? Well, why don't you plectrum me? I won't. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, no, let's, let's just leave this as a note that the last of you better behave or I'll be sprinkling water on you. <laughs> what? Um. So now, uh, so that's that. So now, yeah, what do you have in the future? Do you have any plans? Get another record coming out? We have stuff recorded, you know? We don't know what's going to happen with it, how it's going to be released. We've just basically been, right and been hitting the studio and recording, you know, when we can and, and uh, basically just trying to compile songs for a later. I think we're kind of hoping to put out a, a double seven inch, you know, twice as much as we did the first time so that, you know, we can do it easily and, and soon without having to wait to do a full length release. It's probably gonna be the next thing that's gonna happen. It's gonna be cool. Keno Rific. Now is there gonna be a, uh, is there gonna be a big tour coming up anytime soon? Well, we are going out to Madison real soon. But that's not a tour. I mean, naturally, we just we've been hopping out of town every once in a while, but nothing, nothing special yet. Uh, we want to have a full length before we ever go too far.
Tim, mm -hmm. so tell me, is it weird being in a, in a pop group of this variety in Minneapolis when there's not a, uh, not a lot of other like this? Remember, if it's a one-word answer, cup of coffee, your face, <laughs> a match set. No, it hasn't been lately. <laughs> because there are great groups like uh, February and uh, Colfax Abbey, who's also been on this show, and uh, they're not exactly like us, but uh, we tend to get meshed with that, that group of people, and uh, so it's not that bad yeah, lately. Plus, we, we've it. kind of had a bonding experience with both groups, and uh, we're feeling pretty comfortable about where we are. Yeah, well, and I suppose with a lot of the other groups coming up and around, uh, like um, Fauna, who's been on the show, and oh, yeah. Polera, uh, Ed Ackerson's oh, yeah. group, who at some point should be here, and uh, they're really just totally fabulous. Mm -hmm. So does it bug you when people call you shoegaze? Yes. A hushed silence fell over the room. No, it, it, it's not really a bothering thing, I suppose. Um, People are going to call it what they want to. I don't think we're too comfortable with that term. But, you know, it's, yeah, pretty deep, huh? It's a, ter <laughs> it's a term that's been used to describe something that's undescribable so far. That's all. And if they want to use it to describe us, that's fine. You know, if it'll make people come to the shows. What would you call yourselves? <clears throat> Mood rock. Oh, oh man, it's... that sounds like America. <laughs> well, so Jason, how long have you guys known each other? Well, I went to high school with Tim and Terry. And Where'd you go to high school with them? South St. Paul, Paul, Minnesota. Gotta say it with the South. South, South St. Saint Paul. South St. Paul. Terry and Tim were a couple years older than I was, and we were in choir together <laughs> for a while. And uh, we met through uh, some theater classes and uh, choir and just hanging out. Tim and Jay skated together too. Yeah, we were. Yeah, we were skate buddies for a long time. Skate, skateboarding. So you guys were uh, punk rock youth. <clears throat> oh yeah. Yeah, basically. Sure. <laughs> basically. Yeah. yeah. I used to play in a punk band up in Brainerd. Detective <laughs> Infants. They even, they were even on a record. Did you have a goofy haircut? Oh yeah, had the Mohawks and all that stuff. You betcha. <laughs> in Brainerd. Yes. You betcha. You must have not stuck out at all. What year was that? Early '80s. In Brainerd, wow. So, did you have to get that surgically removed? Yes, I did. Booga, 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 booga! Zoinks! Jinkies! Oh no, a monster! Quick, cut to the band!
about wraps it up for this particular episode of What? I'd like to give a special thanks to our enormously talented ska group, the Mighty Mighty Shapeshifter Tones. Sorry about that nasty monster, fellas. That's okay, Chris. We got him. We got him. Yeah. Monster, eh? Let's just see who this is. It's Bob, the, the reclusive, reclusive janitor. janitor. Oh. Yeah, it turns out this guy thought there was treasure buried under the deep fryers at the roadside inn. And he wanted to scare us all off so he could have it all for himself. Yeah, I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for this meddling band. Yeah. Buried treasure, eh? Well, he'll have plenty of time to look for buried treasure at the state penitentiary. Yeah. Take him away, boys. We'll see you, fellow Crime Stoppers, next time on What? This program is sponsored in part by our new friends, the Electric Fetus. Find it all at the Fetus. And our old friends at Total Music Systems for sound results.